Welcome back to the Dominic Dahl Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Men's Ice Hockey Head Coach Dominic Dahls. After quite an exciting weekend, you guys take care of business versus Kings on Friday, 3-1 win to give yourself a chance to take the inaugural MAC title, which you do, and a come-from-behind win over Manhattanville. Talk about the resilience of your team in that game and what that championship means to your program. I mean, first, the championship is, is big, right? It's the first time we've had the opportunity to play for one, and um, we talked about right from the start of the year, uh, you know, Know, if the Mac was a big thing, you know, only one team would be able to be win it for the first time. And um, to the guys' credit, they hung with it, and that's what they what they did. In terms of the resiliency, I think that was big for us as as a team because we've we've given away a few games in the past couple of weeks, and uh, you know, for us to show our best in what's been you know to this point our biggest game in our program is is big. Um, you know, the guys stuck with it the whole time. There was definitely some highs and lows with some of the penalties, but um, that. They showed some mental toughness and battled through it, and you could just sense it. You know, you could sense it in the room from before the game that they were they were ready to go, and you could sense it on the bench during the game that they um, they weren't going to quit. Not only were they big MAC wins, they were big UCHC wins. You're quietly sitting at the top of the standings right now. I know you've played a few more games than the other teams, but you're giving yourself a chance to take one of those top two seeds going into March. Yeah, I mean that honestly is the bigger picture. You know, we focused on the MAC for the week because that was in front what was in front of us, and um, the MAC obviously took care of the UCHC. But um, in terms of the UCHC, yeah, we're we're sitting at the at the top. But I think between the top, between being first place and being out of the playoffs completely, is you know, a, a bad night. Um, so it, uh, what we've kind of talked about moving forward here is let's take it one game at a time. Um, you know, let's focus on Elmira this week. And then uh, if we focus on us and, and do what we need to do, in the, in the end, we'll be fine. I know last week you talked about your lines, your your forwards, but your defense gets a little credit here too. Jake McNamara had eight block shots in the win over Manhattanville. The weekend before, Aaron Murray had seven block shots in a game. Alfred Panelinborg has – Three points in his last four games. Talk about talk about your defense. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that was one thing. I, I, the past couple of weeks, we've we've talked a lot about, it, to be honest, and um, we weren't really defending well. Uh, like you go back to that Brockport Geneseo weekend where we kind of <coughs> we didn't really defend well at all, uh, and we were losing battles around the net, and that's something that we've kind of worked on in practice and, and kind of got back to what you know I, I think has defined us for the most part is we've historically been able to defend well um, and you know buying into that side of the game has helped I think contribute to the to the other side but um, I mean block shots are a huge part of our game and, and anytime you have I mean those are as big as goals in terms of certain points of the game and um, anytime you have a guy willing to go out there and do that that's that's big uh, and then obviously to have the offensive contribution from those guys um, helps offset you know the other stuff so it's a, it's a bonus. Yeah, you mentioned it that you have Elmira this week on the road, just the one game. Elmira is unbeaten in their last five. They just upset Utica. What do you have to do to get that road win? Oh, I mean, we got to defend well first and foremost. I, I think. Yeah, I mean, if you look at there, they've got a line that's probably one of the top lines in the country at this point. I think there's they got three guys maybe in like the top ten in scoring. Um, so we definitely have to, you know shut them down but I, I don't think the focus can really be on them either it's you know they've got other guys out there and we've got to focus on what we need to do we know if we play hard and we play within ourselves we'll we'll be fine I mean but the three times we've played them I think uh, we have two overtime wins in the last couple seconds of a game and then uh, we tied earlier in the year so um, it's it's going to be a good game and it's uh, you know it's a fun place to play so um, that's that's our focus for the week and we'll we'll go from there. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in that game, and we'll see you back here next week. Thank you. For Coach Dominic Dawes, I'm Sam Murray, and this is the Dominic Dawes Show.